Okay, so this is a Swedish movie, and I can pretty much guarantee you haven't seen this story before. This is one of the most original movies I've seen in a long time. Now, if you look into the movie beforehand, at all, you'll know it's gonna be an odd one. But I didn't expect it to go this deep, because yeah, it gets weird. And I'll get into that a bit more later, but first, what's the setup here? Well, it's about this woman who works at the customs. And let's just say she's not the most attractive person I've ever seen. She's got some unfortunate features. But it also becomes apparent that she's different in other ways too. And turns out she might not be the only one with this, um, affliction. And yeah, throughout the movie you get bits and pieces of information here and there about what's going on with her. And you have to kind of slowly piece it all together. Or you can just wait for the reveal, because they will tell you exactly what's going on. And there's sort of two different threads going on throughout the movie too. One involving her job, and that one's pretty disturbing. And one that turns out to be one of the strangest love stories I've ever seen. And I'll be honest, at certain points, this story was truly beautiful. Like genuinely touching. Which I did not think it would manage to pull off. But it did. But yeah, at other times, this movie was really disturbing too. And a lot of the time it was just weird and unusual. I mean, it even has some David Lynch-esque moments in it. So yeah, it's a bit of a roller coaster, this one. But here's the thing. The real strength of the movie, well, I mean the main performances are really good too. But beyond that, the narrative here is really the thing that holds it all together. Because let's be honest, in weird movies, the narrative usually suffers, right? Most of the time, the stranger the movie, the less the story makes sense. Or even matters. But in this, despite of how weird things might get, and how crazy it gets. The story is very coherent. It's the backbone of this whole movie. It just provides such a strong foundation for the movie that it has no other option but to work. And I mean, it keeps certain details hidden for a long time. But once they're revealed, it's not even that difficult to follow. All the pieces just fit and it makes sense. And that to me is what makes this movie work. The core story. It didn't fall into the trap of let's just make things weird for the sake of it. And let's just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. Because we can. But no, this one knew exactly what it wanted to do. And it didn't veer off track once. And I don't know if it's giving away too much. But I really want to talk about it, so I'm gonna. But I'm still gonna try to keep it as vague as possible. So it turns out that this movie is essentially a modern take on Nordic mythology. And a surprisingly grounded take on it too. And I'd almost want to call it realistic. As realistic as something like this could ever be. To the point that I really wouldn't call it even fantasy. Because even though it does have some pretty significant fantastical elements to it, they're treated as if they were real and could take place in this real world. And I loved that approach. I thought it worked really well. And if you're not familiar with Nordic mythology, you might not know this. But most of the fantasy elements and that stuff in this is based on old folk tales. It didn't really come up with anything new in that sense. But it did figure out a way to incorporate it into the modern day world. In a way that made sense and didn't seem completely implausible. And I ended up liking this way more than I expected to. And I really appreciated how well thought out and put together the story was. It's also apparently based on a book. So I guess most of the credit goes to the author. But yeah, overall it's just a really solid movie too. And I just love the way they handled the whole thing. I mean, this story could have easily come across as silly or goofy. But at least to me it didn't. It came across as way more serious than it had any right to be. And I thought it ended up being surprisingly compelling. And hey, how many movies have a moose wrangler in the credits? So yeah, would I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely, if you like movies that are different. Otherwise, it might be a bit too much. So check it out, or don't. I'm not your dad, but I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to get myself a pet moose. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.